Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. What's new, Pussycat? Yes, I have been knitting and crocheting cat things. Why? Well, our first day of our three-day lockdown, I received an email from our vet announcing 8th of August, International Cat Day. And it was discussing about how cats' well-being for their owners is really important because some people can only tolerate um, cats with their mental health. Dogs are too much full on and how important cats can be to people. And it was sort of like a lead into a fundraiser for a local animal refuge that looks after cats that are dumped and rehomes them, finds them new homes. So it got me thinking about all my whips and I knew I had some cat whips that I had started and put aside, mainly because I don't seem to be able to master the cat face or cat ears quite so well and I get frustrated. But those of you who've been following me for a while will know that I have been working on amigurumi skills and I was trying to improve my skills. So February 2020, I like to make tea cozies and I bought a cat tea cozy pattern off Ravelry. It is paid for and it's by Shane Anderson and I think it was released about 2011. I'm sorry, it's in black and white, but that um, I don't have colour at home. So I did start this last year, so it's a landed UFO for August. Yay! because I finally finished it. I made all the pieces last year and got frustrated with it and couldn't be bothered putting it together and thought, I'll just leave it for a while and then I'll put it together. And I never did. But I decided on International Cat Day, I would finish it. So there is my cat, Tea Cozy. I did the nose different. I stole that from another pattern that I'll show you. Has a big curly tail up the back. Look. I think I don't like the way the legs work out and it doesn't work out as big as they say. And I use the right wool, the right needles, I check my gauge, but it fits a one to two cup teapot and I did finish him. And I'm sure someone will buy him at the markets. E, it is made in pure wool. So the yarn I used, I bought in Helsinki on holidays, 2019. And um, it is called Novita Seven Brothers. There was two different colours. I have used it before for different things. And there's this one with white, grey and a bit of blue. And then there's this one bluey, creamy coloured. So I used both of those to make the tat Cat Tea Cozy with a bit of leftover Click Heat and Pink. So it is 100% pure wool. Does he look like a pig? Possibly. But that is my attempt at the cat tea cosy. Will I make another one? Don't know. I doubt it. I'd have to really rethink how I do those legs. I'm not very good at it. I'm not saying it's the pattern. Could possibly be me. So then this year in February 2021, Everyone was making Mr. Persilot and I went off and bought Mr. Persilot pattern by Chronically Crochet on Etsy. The links to this pattern will be in the description below. This pattern is awesome and written really well. Not her fault I didn't march on and make him. My fault. I didn't have bulky yarn that I could use that I liked. So I decided oh, I'm creative. I would use Red Heart Ombre in Coral and I wanted a fluffy cat. So I thought I'll marry it with this yarn from Ice Yarns. I don't know what it's called. I've got a few in my stash I've had a while and I put them together to make a fluffy Mr. Perslot. Well, good intentions. It made my hand sore. To make the main body, I had to keep stopping. My wrist crocheting would ache. And the ice yarn fluffy stuff, I can't even remember what it's called. I don't even know if it's got anything on the label. 
that will let me know. Huron Tech Techno, I think it's called. It's wool, acrylic, and polyamide pink shades. I don't know. Anyway, I did make the body and then I put him away. Here he is. My attempt at Mr. Perslop. Yes, that is the nose I stole for my tea cozy. He has um, red heart, no, spotlight USA style pink nose and ears. And the rest is super saver and the fluffy stuff. Reeves quite likes him. He's been sitting on the cupboard outside all week. He said he looks like a startled cat every time I walk into the room. I did his eyes a bit wrong, I think. But he said he's quite cute. So that is my first attempt at Mr. Persalot. Because later down the track, when I have the right yarn and I'm happy with it, I'm going to try and make him again. Because I think this was an awesome written pattern and it was just my poor choice of yarns. He did turn out quite colourful. He's not very fluffy. I'm constantly trying to fluff him up. But there you have Mr. Persalot. So that was cat number two on International Cat Day. And because I sort of had a day of I would craft, towards the end of the day I had a bit of spare time and I thought, what else can I make? So those subscribers who followed me for a while remember the Octos, my punk Octos. If you're new to the channel and um, you want to check out, I'll leave a link to the Octo videos. Excuse me. Hiccups. I get hiccups whenever I video. So here he is. This is Octo Pussy. Yes, I made an Octo. I even gave him a tail. He has a fluffy tail. Reeves says this one looks like an angry cat. But there you have it. He's quite fluffy because I used some scrap um latte cake karen latte cake i had left over from a cowl that i made myself i love this yarn it is so soft and it was so easy to work with so maybe i should have used this for mr um Persalot. but there you have it octo pussy another octo to join the octo family up there that's puck octo puck octo punk octo pussy they are my cats for International Cat Day. I enjoyed it. I am glad I finished two of the objects that I've had laying around in whip bags. I always like to try and finish all the projects I start unless I really dislike them. Then they get frogged. Anyway, guys, is there an International Dog Day? Yes, there is. It is the 26th of August. So... I thought I might make some dog coats for the refuge that I um, send them to. I generally make them in wool unless they ask for them in acrylic for dogs who have allergies. I'll put a link to the pattern that I use. They're knitted, but they are perfect little dog coats for dogs who may suffer from the chills during winter. And the reason I send them south is they're tropic, the tropics up here. Other than two hours, no one really needs a dog coat. Our little dog Saxon, four months old and full of beans. Today he went missing for a while. We thought he was having a nap in his bed. Oh no, somehow he'd found his way into the bathroom. Completely unraveled the toilet roll. Took the, Somehow got the toilet roll cylinder off its thing and chewed that and left toilet paper all over the bathroom. He had a lot of fun. We did think it was funny, but, well, we had a lot of mess to clean up. He is quite the little active puppy and very cheeky. He keeps trying to steal my slippers whenever I slip them off. He's off with them and it's a big chase to get them back. Anyway, the International Dog Day, you can make dog coats or Ninja Bunny Crochet. She makes a bandana. I have made those before. They don't tie around the dog's neck. The beauty of them is you can button them over their collar, which they I find most dogs prefer than having something tight around their neck. I'll put a link to that because I think that's an awesome little project for dogs. 
the other thing, the other date that's coming up in August, August the 15th, is International Granny Square Day. Wait me a moment, I'll just pause the video. Back again. So, 15th of August, International Granny Square Day. And those of you will remember that I was making little granny squares during movie and stitch when I didn't know what to make. And I decided when I counted them today, I really don't need that many more to make a little lap gown by putting them all together. So between now and August the 15th, which isn't going to give me much time, I'll make about another 10 granny squares and start putting them together for International Granny Square Day. So guys, you can make a granny square, anything, and celebrate International Granny Square Day with me on August the 15th. So that's it. We're at the end of our three-day lockdown. Tomorrow I go back to work full-time. done a bit of work from home, but it hasn't been easy and there hasn't been that much work coming in because everybody was in lockdown. But I am looking forward to going back to work because I enjoy my job. I actually like my job. And it will be fun. Um, we have to wear masks still. Look, we've been extremely lucky here in Australia, especially in Cairns. This is the probably the only second or maybe third time we've been in a very short lockdown since the pandemic and definitely only about the third or fourth time we still have to wear masks. But considering how um, what happened to cause this lockdown, we are truly lucky to only have to do three days because we really thought we would be in lockdown for quite some time. But all the testing has proven to be really good and we can all get back to as normal as possible so guys i hope where you are you are staying safe and well and remembering life's an adventure and you should have one crafty yarny adventure every day bye from me and mr octopussy bye for now